So this video, an oral cancer screening at home, was highly requested and I think that's great. But I was very hesitant to even make this video because of all the random variants and weird looking things that could be present in your mouth that are 100% normal. And my fear and what I don't want is that everyone who watches this to check their mouth and then freak out because they see something in their mouth that doesn't look normal but it is 100% normal and healthy, you know? So having said that, here's a list of some things that are completely normal anatomical variants that may be present in some people's mouths. Canker sores, cold sores, mandibular tori, palatal torus, fissured tongue, geographic tongue, amalgam tattoos, linea alba, coated tongue, cheek bites, different frenum attachments, for dice granules, etc, etc, etc. There's obviously so many more things that are within normal limits that you may find in your mouth. I hope that makes sense. I just can't stress enough. There's a lot of things in your mouth that may appear that they're not normal, but they are normal. So keeping that in mind, here is how to do an oral cancer screening at home in between your real oral cancer screenings at the dental office. First, you're going to look in your mouth and in your mouth, it's dark when you look in there. It's hard to see in there, so I suggest you grab a flashlight. Something to know is that the most common spots for oral cancer are the sides of your tongue, the lateral borders of your tongue, and the floor of your mouth underneath below your tongue. So what you're kind of checking for is any suspicious lumps or bumps, especially around your tongue and the floor of your mouth. Step one extend your tongue as far as it can go, examining the sides and the underside for white and red patches and feel your tongue for lumps. Also, I know I said that this is one of the most common spots, but this is actually one of the most common spots, especially for non-smokers. Step two, lip and cheek roll. Feel for lumps or bumps, looking for white or red areas that should not be there. Step three, double digit probe. Examine the floor of your mouth from the top and bottom simultaneously for lumps, looking for white and red patches. Step four, palate tickle. Check the roof of your mouth for lumps and areas of softness on the hard palate, looking for white and red patches. Step five, neck caress. Palpate your neck for enlarged lymph nodes, a possible sign of infection or something more serious. Step six, tonsil ah. Say ah and try to examine your tonsils for symmetry, enlargement, redness, or unusual bumps. If you did notice something that is clearly new, something that has never been there before, again, don't panic. Always give it two weeks, and if it doesn't go away in two weeks, then call your dentist. Oftentimes you will notice a cut on your cheek or on your gums from like a sharp food, like a chip or a cracker. Another popular one you might notice is a burn on the roof of your mouth that can be from pizza, pizza burn's a big one, hot chocolate or hot coffee. So if you do see something concerning, try to think back and be like, when did I eat something really hot or something sharp? You know what I mean? Also, keep in mind that list of variants I gave you at the start of this video, all those variants like mandibular torre, all of those are super normal. Now, this is the point like in the video, now I feel like I'm saying like, don't worry, don't panic. I'm trying to like calm you. That's just like, I don't know, the dental profession, like the healthcare worker in me, I'm trying to like calm you down. But that is not the purpose of this video. I just, I don't want anyone freaking out, right? There's a fine line between being super relaxed, like you're fine, and then a fine line between being like super serious and worried about everything, right? I want this to be serious. You should take this seriously, but I don't want you to freak yourself out. So first and foremost, educate yourself. And I will provide links to sixstepscreening.org is what we just did. And it gives you more information on their website, of course. and checkyourmouth.org, which is through the Oral Cancer Foundation. If something looks suspicious in your mouth and you feel like something is wrong, just like you would with any other part of your body, and you would call your doctor or dentist, that is what you should do. Call your doctor or dentist and schedule an appointment. And lastly, before we finish off here, I'm just gonna list a few signs and symptoms that can relate to oral cancer. Persistent mouth sores or irritations that don't go away, usually red or white patches. Pain, tenderness or numbness in your mouth, your lips, or your ears. Non-tender their lumps, thickening, rough spots, crust or eroded areas, chronic hoarseness, abnormal swallowing, difficulty chewing, difficulty speaking, and difficulty moving your tongue or your jaw, peculiar sore throat, and or a change in the way your teeth fit together when you bite down. Again, if you've had any of these, let your dentist know, especially if you've had them for two weeks or more. And make sure you're getting your professional oral cancer screenings at your routine dental appointments. If you'd like to see what an actual oral cancer screening looks like at the dentist, I will link my video on that below in the bottom bar. And until next time, Peace, love, teeth, and check your mouth.